Welcome back. In this video, we're going to shoot down some L-39s. These poor bastards are not going to know what hit them. Okay. Now, I haven't actually set up any of the radar stuff yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Right now, the radar is off. I'm going to right-click it once in the standby, and a second time to put it into operate position. Coming up here to the right uh, MFD, I'm going to click this bottommost button, and then go over to radar attack. There we go. I'm going to turn on the master arm, and we're going to go to my stores page. Now at this point, you need to actually use HOTUS commands. So I'm going to go into controls and just show you what those are. So we have a button for select sparrow, another button for select sidewinder, another button to select a gun, and there's a fourth button to select uh, amrams, although those are not yet in the game, for the Hornet at least. Okay, so I'm going to select my Sparrow Missiles, which is automatically going to put me into air-to-air -air mode. I'm going to come over here, and I want to change my radar some, so I'm going to press the Data button, press Declutter to get rid of all that crap, and I'm going to uh, modify the um, Ghost button. I don't actually know what it's called, but it determines how long a contact stays on your radar screen, so I'm going to set it for 32 to minimize the chance of losing contacts. Then come back down here to data and deactivate it. That way we can actually use the radar. If you leave that activated, you can't um, use it. We also have a range button here. 40 looks good to me. And we can adjust the uh, radar sc um, horizontal scan with this button here. 60 degrees, 80, 140, 20. I'm going to leave it at 40, though. We can also set the number of vertical bars with this top uh, left button here. Normally, you want it at four bars. Okay. Now, over here, for our sparrows, I want to go ahead and set it to a small target size, since we are shooting at small targets. Loft does not currently work, though I'm going to go ahead and click it anyways, just because. Now, as with any other aircraft, including the FC-3 aircraft, we have a TDC um, hat. At least I hope you're using a hat. It would be truly awful if you're not. The radar is currently very much work in progress, so do be aware of that. There they are. Now, as usual, you just uh, move your cursor over them, press the lock button, and there you go. I'll go ahead and show you what the lock button is. So this is our lock button. And it is Throttle Designator Controller Depress, but all it does is lock targets. It doesn't seem to do anything else. And then the Nose Wheel High Switch that we used on a carrier is the Unlock button. Go figure. So, okay. It's locked up. We are 13 miles away. Let me deactivate that. So we're 12 and a half nautical miles away. That right there is our closing speed. Once again, in knots our lock indicator up here and the fact that he's shown as a diamond means that it is showing up as IF that it is not showing up as a friendly on IFF just because it's a diamond does not necessarily mean it's hostile I think it will once the radar is fully working but right now it's quite unreliable so on this outer ring we have a ranging system that right there is zero that right there is the no escape zone, and that right there is the maximum theoretical range if they fly right to the missile. So we do need to get quite a bit closer. Although I don't see why we should be in range right now. Okay, apparently it's glitched. This is a new module. We are definitely in range. I'm just going to pull the trigger, missile away. And that will hit, because we are well inside range. There it goes. Now it tells me to shoot. So we have shoot. We have a flashing thing. The flash is there, telling me to shoot. Now we have a couple of additional modes. We have close combat modes, which I'll demo. So we have uh, this right here is bore sight. No, that's not bore sight. This is Boresight. It is 
sensor control switch forwards, and then we have vertical span scan mode, which is sensor control switch aft. And those two do other things. So these are the two we need. So I'm going to do bore sight first. Missile away. Vertical scan for the most part does not work. I'm going to switch to sidewinders now. That key I showed previously. Oh, if you want to do more than 7 G's, you will need this button. Uh, I have this on my X55 as a the latched switch, but um, you're definitely going to want to assign this as this will allow you to do up to 10 G's. And I have yet to rip the wings off, so it's fine. By the way, you don't need radar for this. Oh, fuck. That's not going to work. Oh. Every time you unlock a target, you have to reset this thing for the close combat mode. Uh, I do not know if it will remain that way forever. Sidewinder lock. Missile away. Well, what do you know, it finally locked it up in uh, vertical scan mode. So yeah, vertical scan largely does not work at this time, but that's okay. Next up, we'll gun this guy. So to gun him, I'm going to press the cannon button, which I showed previously. Going way too fast, but that's okay. Bleeding speed is quite easy. go. Now I'm still in bore sight mode. At least I thought I was. There we go. Now what we do is we just put the pipper on him and try to make it stable for a moment and then we can shoot. And that's the end of him. Press the unlock button to uh, unlock. And there is, as far as I know, no cancel button to go back to navigation. So at this point we're going to click the AA mode button again and now we're back in navigation mode. And uh, because I use the G limit override it will disable the autopilot system. Not that I've ever used the autopilot system. So that's it. That is how you use the air-to-air uh, -air weapons in uh, the Hornet. See you in the next video. Assuming there is one.